What is going to write today? We are back with brand new custom WWE action figure belts for you, man. We got some great detail belts here, always coming in with the heat. We have my man Dan Turnquist, Turnquist Fig Belts, man. Go give him a follow on Instagram. He is an absolute charm. I think he also has a TikTok page, and you can go check all of that out. He's very talented, man. He makes the best custom belts that I've ever seen. And we're back today with a brand new batch, and we have some brand new championships here that are featured on WWE television that I'm excited to get into. And you'll also notice in the middle, if you guys missed my show, short from yesterday I talked about the custom Mountain Dew that we have back there and I also want to show off some other custom things that we have done over the last few days but today we have custom belts we got a custom we got some fix-ups we got some cool stuff going on man so with that being said let's just get into the belts here talk about the championships and then we'll just break everything down as we progress man but starting out on the table the first championship we have is a belt that I've had before and it is the new world heavyweight championship the only difference on this one is it is going to have the Damian Priest side plates so what is cool about this is over here we do have Damian Priest and and he just has the regular championship, man. So what's cool about that is now I can throw on the Damian Priest version, and that will give me a more accurate championship. Now, I know a lot of people get upset when WWE or Mattel, they give us, you know, look at the Roman Reigns back here. People have said, you know, stop giving us the side plates. And also, the yellow belts, man, they look a bit weird, don't they? I feel like they're way too yellow. I feel like a lot of people say that the yellow or the coloring on the championships is inaccurate, which I can kind of get on board with. I see what you're saying there. It's kind of been that way for a while, but I think it's because there's so much more yellow now. It's more more noticeable, if that makes sense. You know, beforehand, it was just the border, right? And then you had someone on the side plate. But now that the main plate has all of that yellowish gold, I think it stands out a lot more to people. But you can let me know. Are you team, you know, custom side plates or no side plates? I can see both sides, or maybe they need to give you an option there. Maybe you can, you know, do one and the other and switch back and forth. I feel like every single championship we get nowadays, though, has side plates. So, I mean, I guess it's accurate. It's just, I know I know what you mean. You kind of want the standard. That way you don't have to buy, you know, if, if Big E wins a championship in your Fed or something like that, and you don't have a Big E world title like this. You know, uh, so far we only have Seth Rollins and we only have Roman Reigns for the championships. What if you want to use that title in your Fed or your display or whatever, and you want to put it on a random guy that's never even touched a championship, never will touch a championship, you know? So I understand that. But we do have the Damian Priest title there. You guys can let me know what you think there. But we also have the Cody Rhodes version of the Undisputed Championship. Now, what's cool about this is I already had this, but my side plates were blacked out. So if we take Cody Rhodes from the back here with his Mountain Dew, now again, I am in the process of getting some Diet Dew because I want to do I want to do Diet Dew. That shout out to Curb Stomp City Custom Decals. He makes all the decals that are featured on this channel, and he made the custom Mountain Dew decal that went on this on this can right here. I did ask him if he could hook up with some Diet Dew, so I think the Diet Dew is in progress. But it looks good. It fits the can well, and it looks like he's actually drinking a Mountain Dew. So I think that looks awesome. But another great thing is that the championship right here. If you look at the difference between these two, you'll notice that the one side plate is just black and white and has like gold American Nightmare logos, but then on the new one that we just got, it has the correct coloration. It has the correct colors on there, so the Skull American Nightmare logos are actually colored now, so it looks way, way better. I think it looks fantastic. Very excited for that. I think it just gives an extra bit of detail that is lacking on the black and white versions or the just, I don't know what you call it, the black and gold versions, I guess you could say, but this looks very good. Very happy with that. I think that turned out great. Very excited to, you know, add this to Cody. You know what? Let's put this on here. Now, this, this Cody's been chilling with the do in the backstage area. So now I can just plop on the more accurate version right there. Look at that right there, man. That's looking good. You can't really compete with that. I, I don't care what you say. This suited Cody that's custom right here is better than the current, you know, suited Cody that we've got. And I think it looks way, way better. So we're going to put him there. Hopefully the head sculpt doesn't pop off. But there we go. We got our American Nightmare. He's looking damn good back there. Also, did you see the images of the Casey Jones Cody? Maybe we'll have to do a, a full video on the new gallery posted on that. But let's move on to our next championships. And we have the new WWE Tag Team Championships. And these turned out really, really impressive. Now, I think that they could have done better, WWE that is, if they added some more color to it. But I do like the championships. I think that all of this looks good. And what's great, crazy, is, you know, a lot of people, they make the paper championships and they make these different custom belts. But these are, you know, they're 3D printed, man, and they're painted so well. And all of this detail is actually sculpted in here, man. You can see the details. They look fantastic. And he even has the clip in here, which adds to it. You got the WWE logo. So detailed. It looks insane. They, he did such a fantastic job. Now, we do have our champions that we have to put these on. We have the brand new Elite 110 Austin Theory. We could plop this on here, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll put it on his on his shoulder right here. You can strap him up. You can put the championship here on Theory. So now we have our brand new Theory, who did come with the U.S. title, but it's going to be it's gonna be a long minute before we get these from Mattel, man. So if you guys are 
you're interested in getting these title belts, I think he's very limited on commissions. So what we're trying to do is get a custom batch of these to sell on whatnot for the next time. So I'm trying to gauge interest on what titles you would like to see featured in that. We're, we're going to have some MDT championships and we're going to have some custom championships for sale in this week's or this weekend's whatnot sale. So click the link in the description below. You get $15 free for signing up first time purchase. So you can do so. We're going to have some custom title belts. Now, I don't think we're going to have any of the tag team titles, but we have, we'll have have some modern titles. We're going to have some different Fed things going on, so you can get in on that. But we do have, you know, we're, we're trying to gauge interest here. We're trying to say, do you want some of these modern tag titles up for sale? Do you want some throwback championships, Attitude Era, whatever the hell it is, man? Let us know down in the comment section below so we can get a better gauge of that. But we do have the other half, and it is the same exact title. So we do have a pair of the brand new championships. We have Grayson Waller over here for A-Town Down Under. And we are going to throw this over the shoulder, too. I'll put it on this side because he's got the elbow pad on, and it's probably going to F that all up. But there you go. Now you have, I know I, I gotta like clasp it together, but now Austin Theory and Grayson Waller can have their championships. We'll back this up a little bit so you can see there. They look really damn good, man. I think Dan knocked it out of the park with those, but we do have our world, ta or not the world tag titles. These are the regular tag titles. We do, however, have the world tag titles, which are gonna be these versions over here. Now, I, for one, am just glad to see brand new tag team championships from WWE. I was very over the Raw and SmackDown versions. I think this m much more represents WWE. You know, it's just not the same cookie cutter championship. You have some colorations in there with the silver and red. Very clean aesthetic, I think, on these circle belts, and we do have to put them on the Awesome Truth. Honestly, can't believe they're still champions, but we do have the Awesome Truth. We're going to put the World Tag Titles on there. At least at the time of recording this, they are champions. At least I believe they're champions, by God. But these look damn good as well. I, I just love it, man. They, these look so good, and you guys know that when Mattel releases them, they're going to look fine, but they're going to be very shiny. They're going to have some different things going on, and so this does look really damn so we're going to put these on the Miz and our Truth over here. And I do want to do so. So we have this Elite Miz here in white. We'll go ahead. You know what? We'll put it around the waist right here, man. Let's put the let's put the World Tag Titles around the waist. And this should look pretty clean. So there you go. You got the you got World Tag Champion Miz. And then we do have World Tag Champion our Truth over here rocking his Judgment Day shirt from this little fix-up I made a while back. Yeah, single jointed arms, man. Not wanting to hold the damn title belt. Making me sick. So there you go. Now you got all your champions. You got both sets to tag team champions. What I definitely need to do is I do need to get the new women's championships made. I need to get the rear, you know, the rear Ripley or Liv Morgan championship, something like that. But the last few championships we have here is we do have some more copies of the Elite Championship. Now, I am going to have some of these available on our Whatnot stream on Sunday, but these are actually well painted, man. These look, this may be the best paint job that Dan's ever done on the Elite Championship. These look so damn clean. They look so great. I'm, I'm just, it's crazy to, um, I don't know, y you think of an idea for a championship or whatever, and then Dan can bring it to life, and he's very creative like that, so that, that looks crazy, you know, this all started years back, this just, as a, this, you know, it started as a design in my head, and then Showstopper Custom Figs brought that to life, and then that kind of was our basis for what we had moving forward, but these look really good, I love these Elite Championships, always glad to have extra copies of these or getting these in, and what really throws it over the top every time has to be the belt clip at the end that actually has the MDT logo painted in there, that is so damn sick, one of my goals in life, or just in the next couple years, is to get an actual adult replica of this, and then have, you know, people that have actually held the championship autograph it, so I want an MDT real replica, and I want an Elite title replica, I want to have those made, but we do have have two new elite championships that look clean and then the last championship that we have is the new IWGP global championship which is pretty damn good now I don't have a David Finley figure or anything like that but it is still nice a, a cool title to have it's just a clean aesthetic anytime you have white and gold together it is chef's kiss you know we're seeing a lot of that on WWE TV with the new women's championships so this global championship does look very very clean so we do like that I also like the side plates a lot just I don't know I, I you know New Japan has some really clean titles and I think this one is no different it looks very, very good. So the belt clips, man. The belt clip is what sets off all these custom titles. But this is the last custom championship we have in our batch. But at the end of the day, I'm very satisfied with all of these. All of them look very damn good. I think that the scaling looks good. I think that the championships look really good here on Awesome Truth. We have our brand new tag team championships here for Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. Gotta be real, man. I mean, outside of our truth, I don't like any of our tag champions right now. Like, personally. Like, I'm just not personal fans of any of the tag team champions right now in WWE. 
WWE television it is what it is, man. Hopefully, you know, we'll see what comes of it. It's just, I'm not personally a fan there, but I am happy with all of our championship halls here today, not to forget the Cody Rhodes or American Nightmare Undisputed Championship back here, which looks fantastic. And we do have Clash of the Castle taking place today, if, if I'm not mistaken, so... That should be fun as well, but we do have our American Nightmare in the front right here with his can of do. So we do have that, and again, working on not only... Oh, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta get this. I also brought this Roman up here. Now, I did do a short on this, but I wanted to put it in a video. We did... I took the Elite 110 Roman Reigns head sculpt, and we, we are gonna rank the way from worst to best and do a My Damn Thoughts episode, but I did custom paint the head sculpt to add the faded, tapered beard on the sides here. And the sculpt's not perfect, and it's not a perfect job, but it certainly looks more accurate to what I was hoping. And I think the biggest thing about this head sculpt that's wrong is going to be the size of the forehead. I've touched on it a little bit. His head, he kind of just, his, head, his forehead's too short. His forehead's too short. I think the likeness is good, but again, that wasn't my disappointment with the figure. I think the figure is represented well, like I've stated multiple times. It's just, I had expectations for this figure. They didn't deliver, and so that set me up for disappointment. I think the execution of the figure, like I said, is good. It's just, at the end of the day, not what we wanted, not what we needed. And hopefully we will get that promo attire. Nice looking Finn Balor. Nice, nice looking Finn Balor. I hope we get a nice looking Finn Balor. Hopefully with the beard and everything soon. But the main thing is the Roman Reigns. Got to get the track suit. Got to get the man bun and the hair down. Accurate beard. Accurate fade. All those different things, man. But it's pretty much going to wrap up our custom championship haul. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all these championships down in the comment section below. Are you picking them up? Are you doing whatever, man? Let me know all those things down in the comment section, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas so very much for everything they do for me on a monthly and, hell, daily basis. Appreciate those fellas, man. Thank you guys so very much for supporting me on my journey here. But check out the WhatNot link down in the description below, man, so you can join in on Sunday. Should be a fun day. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>